Hello my darlings, uh, it's Monday again and as you know I've started uh, live streams with my superpower woman and uh, this one will be something a little bit different and uh, something, something special uh, today because uh, my guest is my soul sister um, Asia Dupanovic Gavrilescu and uh, we will talk about uh, healthy life and about how healthy girls are the prettiest and we will talk also about uh, what Asia is doing uh, and about reflexology and uh, she will of course introduce herself the best and uh, as you already know I will ask you some questions and I'm really looking forward for uh, this super cool live stream and uh, I've titled, uh, hi darling you're already there, I've titled uh, this live stream, live streams coffee with Mala because I am a coffee addict and Asia know, knows that and of course she will not drink coffee with me but it will be super cool talk and uh, I'm really really happy that she said yes to come to my uh, small mala show and uh, I will try now as I always try <laughs> to invite her so because um, you know she's there I see her icon Asia are you ready darling so I hope you have a great Monday. It's uh, rainy here in Nai Ulm and yeah, not so good weather, but the week is perfect. And we will start now uh, with my darling Asia. <laughs> I hope it's working. Yeah, it's working. Yay! Yay! <laughs> my darling! Oh, you have a t shirt. I have my t shirt. I have my t-shirt designed by you. Shall we show it already? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In unicorns we trust because we are unicorns and we have yeah, the same values and ideas. And darling Asia, please, um, you know, introduce yourself. I already said this will be uh, something special because uh, we will not talk about creativity but we will talk about how uh, healthy girls are the prettiest and please please introduce yourself a little bit and then I will ask you some questions what are you doing okay. and why are you doing and already the first question of course what do you want to become as a child in, professionally and this is the question I ask uh, everybody who are here in my Coffee with Mala show. <laughs> so, so uh, good morning to everybody and good morning to you, my dear. I'm so, so happy to be here. This is super exciting. Uh, is there any way for me to put this black and white as well? I don't know. I, l last time with Moita, something was... I don't know, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I also don't see any gadgets on the screen, so let's just drop yeah. it. So, I'm sorry. In my childhood, when I was little, I dreamt of becoming a flight attendant. I was so, so, so always impressed uh, and mesmerized by these girls, these beautiful ladies who were always so elegant, you know, walking down the aisles in the airplane. I flew from four months old onwards a lot with my parents so I had a lot of chance to observe them and I would always tell myself this is exactly what I want to become in my life to serve people <laughs> in this way and to help them when they're afraid flying um, then I also wanted to be a teacher mm -hmm. and a, uh, specifically a kindergarten teacher and even uh, to have my own kindergarten. And uh, another thing that I remembered was really, really close to my heart. I always loved, loved, loved stationery. I loved, you know, buying pencils, stickers. My parents were always bringing 
you know, dad would bring Hello Kitty from Japan and mom would bring this from here. I love Hello and Kitty. I really, really loved these things, which you couldn't buy in Yugoslavia in the time when you and I were growing up. Yes. So I always, uh, what I would play at home with my dolls, I would set up a small stationery shop, you know, and I would write proper... Uh, proper bills to them and pretend that they are paying and that I'm giving them, you know, the change back. And I really, really enjoyed that. And I was pretty sure that I'm going to have a stationery shop when I grew up. Um, in high school, I fell in love with psychology. I don't know if you know about the late, um, if you knew the late uh, Professor Vid Pechiak, which is... Yes, the, yes. Is the biggest uh, psychologist from Slovenia, I mean, worldwide known. And um, in high school years in Ljubljana, I used to study from his book and he so managed to instill this love for the science of psychology uh, yeah. within me. I was, it was truly the only thing that I was later interested in studying. Initially, I thought, languages because that's my talent and something I really like and enjoy but when I ran into him <laughs> I knew it was going to be psychology I was so interested to to know why why people feel the way they feel mm -hmm. why do they act the way they act mm -hmm. and how can one help them so I went on to study psychology in the university uh, after that, instead of becoming a child psychologist, as I thought in those days, I ended up in advertising with my dad. And those were some really, really interesting times. Uh, you know, he, he was always working on the bestest, most exciting projects. Uh, and we, we were always going to some super duper uh, interesting events and meeting creative people from the from around the world mm -hmm. um, but you know what happened actually all this time through all these dreams I had and all my life I never ever Jana took good care of my body yeah and eventually eventually you know in 20s when I was uh, really all over the place and I mean, you did your share of work in advertising. You know how yes. you have to, I mean, you are really passionate about what you do and working in creative environment is just so, it is so exciting. At the same time, it really takes a toll on, on, on your health, right? Because you have no working hours. You don't have time to eat regular meals. You yeah. forget, forget about drinking water. Forget about sleep. I mean, you know, totally uh, hectic uh, sleeping patterns. And eventually this, this made my, my system crash because yeah. I, pushed, I pushed my body too far for too long. Yes. Right? Uh, in my childhood, I was um, uh, I spent the first half of my life in sports. Yeah. Uh, I was training skiing very hard every day. That was the first love of my life, and I was really utterly passionate about it. So I was really using my body already then, right? And yeah. I was doing all these trainings on, you know what? Slices of bread with Nutella. At best, slices of bread with poly salam. <laughs> yeah. I know. You know? <laughs> yeah. That was these two yeah. things. If I could, you know, live my life on these two things, I would be the happiest. You know, sometimes so I was actually discussing this with my former uh, teammates because we are still really good friends, you know, and we still meet. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes only one of us would have some mandarin or a banana. Otherwise, it was just crap all the time, like peanuts and smoky. You remember smoky? Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So, so at one point, I, I, at one point, I really, I pushed it, I pushed too much, right? And that was um, a moment in which my whole, I mean, I literally didn't have an immune system anymore yeah. because I didn't build one. Yes. So the, yeah. the first, the moment huge stress entered my life, uh, my body, which didn't have any fundament, it didn't yeah. have any firm ground to stand and to survive this stress. It just crashed. Yeah. So I, that's how I ended up doing what I'm doing today, which is practically saving other people's lives. Yeah, your childhood goes. dream. Yeah, it's exactly. actually your I, childhood dream, but in a different kind of way. And yeah, please tell. Sorry. Exactly. So... I help, I help those who find themselves now where I used to be. I help those who are in search of happiness in a healthy body, achieve balance on all levels of their beings. And when I say balance, I mean, just as we talked with our sister Diana the other day, I mean that only state in which your body can function. Yeah optimally yeah. um, I like to say that in order to do these things I use quite a lot of magic of my fingers um, and my heart you yes. you had the chance to experience that uh, <laughs> the other day yes. <laughs> and yeah more more concretely I practice um, some ancient healing modalities which have helped me personally um, heal from an autoimmune disease and yeah. these are healing techniques which provide a completely natural and non-invasive boost to one's body. This is something really important for me. It has to be natural. It has to be non-invasive and a completely natural stimulation to the body. So that's practically this experience of healing from an autoimmune disease. This is exactly what... Um, what made me decide that I want to study um, these kind of uh, techniques by myself in depth and be able to help others. So that was kind of a long <laughs> answer. To a yeah, question. but I, this is, you know, that's why I, I need to invite you to my, to my uh, live stream because I think uh, people need to hear it because I think it's very, very important I've been then uh, there also to 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 work in agencies and uh, to have this non you know non balanced body and I think this is really important that people hear that you can actually of course with your help heal yourself when um, you are uh, eating healthy and when you take care for yourself because. We are living in such stressful world now and we need to be aware of who we are and what can we do without, you know, some pills and uh, some bullshit stuff, sorry for the language. But I think it's really, really important that uh, I have you now here because I want that you explain a little bit something. And uh, of course, I will ask you also my kind of questions because this is coffee with my <laughs> And I'm sure you're drinking tea or water now, but you know, it's, it's, I'm really, really happy that uh, you said yes. And I'm happy that you are uh, explaining this really well because I know how it feels when your body has no energy and your immune system is really like down because you are not eating healthy, you are forget to eat, you don't drink water enough and uh, that's why, yeah, here with you today. So can you explain a little bit more? Um, because I was, uh, you did to me this Japanese leaf, how do you say this? You know, on the face? What, what, yeah. what can you achieve with this technique? Okay, yeah. so what, what you and I did, that was um, a technique called Japanese cosmolifting, which is uh, health and beauty uh, at the same time. Um, and most often I practice facial reflexology, which is yeah. the most powerful of all 
um, reflexology techniques. And for for you know for all our friends and all people out there who are with us now and who will be watching this uh, video later, I would like to say that the most uh, important thing for me to share with others is that um, we are simply part of nature. And yeah. all we need to do is to go back to living and acting accordingly, right? So what, what, our, what used to be medicine before, especially in the East, is your food, yeah. right? You right. feed your body with food and you harm your body with That's everything food. that is not food for it. And I constantly, constantly keep on um, just saying to others that food is only what is in its recognizable form, yeah. right? So yeah. broccoli, that, that you eat fresh broccoli or steamed broccoli, cooked broccoli, big broccoli, whatever. But food, you simply cannot even call food. No. Packaged ingredients yeah. that, which you find on the shelves of the supermarket. This is not food. These are products, right? They were right. produced by some machine. And that is not food for a, for a body of, of a human being. And another thing which I was just thinking uh, this morning, for me, when I, when I say we, need, we are part of nature and we need to go back to, to living accordingly, we are... First and foremost, and I know you will agree because yeah. these are the kind of things that you and I discuss. We are first and foremost beings of energy. Of right? course. And, right. and we talk a lot about changing the world and uh, us being world changers. And not until not long ago, I really did not believe that me, myself, you know, as a single individual, I can really do something. Yes that I'm big and powerful enough to change the world. I always thought, wow, you know, you have to, you have to do some kind of um, colossal thing in order to be changing the world. Yeah. But if you just think that we are practically, literally uh, beings of energy, everything yeah. each and every one of us does every yeah. day, yes. just on this, on this global scale of collective consciousness, it matters. It, it matters. absolutely matters. And you don't, nobody has to become president or prime minister or any kind of, do any kind of huge colossal thing. All you need to do, and I now believe, your only primary task is to work on yourself. Yeah. To, for, for you to take of care of yourself and the frequency of your own vibration because that is how you move energy and that is how you as an individual add up to this, what do we call it, like a patchwork yes. that we have going on because we are all connected. Oh, we of course. We truly need to understand yes. that we are all connected. We are like, we are all one. We are and one. What I yeah. Do, Yes. What I do, what I do in St. Gallen totally influences you in Neu-Ulm. It, and yeah. it, no yes. matter where you are. Of course, of course. And we, we are making um, more than we are think of it, you know. You don't think you can change the world. But uh, this is my belief also that, uh, of course, we are one and we are all connected with each other. And when we do good things, first to ourselves, and then to spread it to the world, we can change it. And I totally believe in this, that we can change the world together for a better place. Because now, you know, it's everything, it's changing already. I feel this and I am proud of, I'm proud of this, that such movements are now, you know, are now um, making this world because you know we connected with each other in groups and uh in some different kind of projects we are in and this is it this is what i really want to do also you know not just 
because of the money of course money is energy and we need it but i want to have money to spread it you know to to connect with other to make good things not just you know to to live a luxury luxury life but i want to have money to help you know here in uh, in ulm it's uh Tierheim. i don't know in english how do you say it you know for 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 dogs and cats and like that i want to help children i want to help a lot of people you know i am not uh, a healer but with my with my uh what i do i can i can change this you know and this is every individual should do this as you already said and um it's really really important and Yeah, I'm so happy that we are here together on this journey. Really, really, because you know my my world has opened now. I I have so much ideas, and so I'm really, really happy. And my heart is really like beating fast because I know this was also my dream as a child to help others in in different kind of ways. And uh, it's really, really cool. And now I will ask you <laughs> this question. Uh, <laughs> because I ask everybody, and because it's a little bit different uh, kind of, you know, live stream. Because I'm fan of cartoons, and uh, I want to ask you if you have a favorite cartoon as a child, and if you're watching now, I know you have a daughter, and I'm interesting if you have a also favorite cartoon that you like to watch now. Can you say it? Can you explain so it? So I had I had like three childhoods, right? I had my own childhood, <laughs> then I lived one together with my nine years younger brother Philip, <laughs> with whom I also ha had to watch cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> and now I have Tara, who is now nine, and of course I'm watching cartoons with her. Um, yeah. uh, I remember I remember in Yugoslavia we didn't really have a lot of. Um, cartoons. We absolutely didn't have any cartoon channels like they exist today. Yeah. Uh, we used to have a, a short cartoon at 10 in the morning and then one yeah. at 7.15 before the news, if you remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then there was one long one on Sundays, I think at 7 in the evening. Uh, and that was like the event of the week, <laughs> right? For all of yeah. us. Last time you, when you spoke with Morza, we remembered He-Man. Um, yeah, I love that. <laughs> uh, mostly, I think we, the, the cartoons which, which at least I watched most were Tom and Jerry. And do you remember yes. this um, Ptica Trkačca, this coyote who was... Uh, yeah, who was yeah, famous. yeah, yes. <laughs> he was so the, these two most popular cartoons, Pizza yeah, the Kaisa and the uh, and the uh, Tom and Jerry. Uh, they were just throughout the episode trying to kill each other. Yes, right. This yes. is what we watched all the time. And then I, I love Balthazar. I yeah, me too. I appreciated Balthazar very much. Um, Philip was into uh, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, okay. So I, this was not a lot of Ninja Turtles. Yeah, <laughs> it was just you know in my house. But otherwise, I'm a I'm a Disney girl. You know, really? I'm a Disney girl. okay. Bambi okay. broke my heart. Bambi okay. totally broke my heart for days. My mom was trying to console me, and 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 tell me that nothing like that will happen to her. Um, I loved uh, I loved Ariel, and since yeah. I was playing, I was playing the piano in the music school, and my dad got me somewhere I I believe from the states the the note um, the book with the uh, you know musical notes, and I loved 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 being able to play the music from the from the movie and to sing, and I still with Tara we love most the cartoons in which one can sing along and dance yeah. along. Yeah. And of course that they are girl power, like Mulan. I yeah. love Mulan. Me too. Right? And uh, I remember also, Philip and I, we loved uh, to watch Cow and Chicken in Cartoon Network. I don't know if you know. Yes, that. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> there was there was cow and chicken and there was this Dexter's lab. I love Dexter, it. The scientist. I love it. 
He's I love so Dexter. Cool. I love it, Dexter, because the, the uh, his uh, sister he she, she doesn't have a you know because she hasn't grain she she doesn't have a <laughs> Didi. Her name was yeah. Didi. <laughs> I love. Oh, I and she was always she was always ruining all his experiments. <laughs> yeah, I because love that. So stupid, also oh, cool. I love Dexter. Yes. yes, cool, 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 cool. Really cool. I love it. Uh, do you have um, to do list? Do you have some weekly plan? You know. So of course I I I I have to because there's with. With a uh, with a nine year old, there are so many things going on. I mean, it's literally like leading two parallel lives. She yeah. has a life of her own. She has a social life of her own. She has her own activities to which I have to take her. Uh, yeah. She has birthday parties to attend, for which I have to buy the presents. You know, of course. And and of course, I have sessions with my clients and. I could not keep all that in my head. So, of course, I do. Um, I have a very, very thorough and very precise uh, uh, to-do list. Though I don't like to call it to-do list, actually, yes. anymore. And in the spirit of taking care of myself, what I started yeah. to do, uh, and this tip I read in the... Um, in the book, uh, ex uh, what, what was it called? Extreme self care by Cheryl Richardson. Instead yes. of just um, uh, how do we say krijat, prekrijat? Lined, underlined? No, not underlined. Just to cross, it? yeah. Instead yeah, cross, of crossing yeah. something, yes. when it's done, I actually write with my pencil all the time and then I delete. You know, with yes, a beard for me. Oh my God. Yes, I do this I also. That. And this is so cool. When <laughs> you can, yeah. So, cool. I want, what I want to see at the end of the day is a totally blank page and not a list full of, you know, 10 million uh, things that I had to do that day. So, a blank page and then I can go to bed. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Really cool. What are your What are your dreams? What do you believe in? Of course, you already started to tell, but I want to know more details. What are your dreams? More. What are you believing in? This I want to know. I want. I know it already, but I want that you share it with us here. You mentioned already um, in the invitation for this uh, live stream that I strongly believe in uh, healing yeah. people and not their symptoms in the magnificence of our body and its natural ability to heal. Um, I also truly believe in empowering women through knowledge. This is something really, really important for me. Um, so is taking care of oneself. Um, I already said that I believe that everybody plays their role and absolutely everybody can do something to, to change the world. Yes. Uh, we also, I also already said that I believe that as a part of nature, we need to, we need to go back to the roots, you know, we need yeah. to go back to basic, basic, basic things. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. And, and regarding dreams, you know, I, I, I don't have in this, in this moment um, on my vision board something like, you know, Lea wants to be um, at Oprah's and uh, Anna, I know Anna is here with us this morning. Anna wants to do yeah. a TED talk. I don't have anything like this. I really, mm -hmm. I have more like, like this, this very, very very wide, big, global idea of doing good and spreading the light. And each and every day I wake up, I try to have a meaningful day yes. in which I just spread love all around and do, do good things. This is, this is what fulfills me. This is what yeah. fulfills me. I can, I can absolutely not point uh, towards any... Uh, material thing for example which I would like to have or own. Mm -hmm. it's just I dream 
I dream of of a world in you know I dream of a world in which healthy and happy people live and yes. do good yeah. um, to each other. for each other. Yes. Yeah. I also don't have a vision board. <laughs> Everybody were no, I don't have it, you know, because I'm this is also important for me, you know, this balance, this love and happiness. Because I realized mm -hmm. that only in this kind of energy I can do, I can create and I can be and I can share this to the world. And this is this is really, really uh, for me to totally important, uh, not just this material stuff, but really to earn money, to, to, to be even more creative, you know, that you don't have worries. Oh, do I have enough for this? Do I have enough for this? Only that kind, you know, only in this way, it's for me totally important that when I wake up that I feel this, you know, uh, love, uh, balance and happiness. I need I need this in the morning. Do you write your uh, your book, your thankful gratitude book? Do you have it? Yes, absolutely. I just saw I just saw Diana's uh, comment. Vision board is an awesome yeah. tool, and Diana is our soul sister. Who yeah, <laughs> used, who introduced us uh, with her um, uh, gratitude uh, book. Yes. And today it will be the 26th day that I wrote in my gratitude book. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I do it um, in the morning with my, with my breakfast and my tea. And it totally, you know, sets such, such a fantastic, such a beautiful tone to the rest of my day. Because what Diana suggested to us is... Um, to always express gratitude for some pretty general things which you are grateful for, like health, yeah. you know, yeah. your family. Um, I always thank for all the knowledge that is always coming to me, all the love that I'm showered with each single person in my life and so on and so on. And then to reflect on the previous day, I totally love that part, to reflect yeah. on the previous day, and note down everything that happened yesterday that you are grateful for. Yeah. Right. So Diana, I am Thank so, you. so, so grateful to you for this because yeah. this is, this is life changing. This is, but listen, this is, this is um, also another way of taking care of yourself, of taking care of your own vibration. And this is how you change the world. Yeah, absolutely. This is your only task. Your only yeah. task. You are not here to change others. No. They will change if you know. If you you change, you will emit uh, such a frequency that your whole environment will be changing without you doing anything specific for Correct. others to change. Right? Yeah, I've noticed that uh, because I was uh, really angry for a long for a long time because mm. I was struggling, uh, I was really struggling a lot. And it was all, all here inside in this beautiful, my beautiful brain, you know, <laughs> because I was really, really having um, some issues and some challenges and I didn't know how, how can I, how can I make it? And it's really, when you change yourself, you change your thoughts. When you change your this gratitude book, it's really it's really important because when you change this, everybody, you know, your environment is my environment changed. In three months now, I'm really because I realized something that only me I can change something, uh, and uh, I don't need to be angry because nobody is for what I'm going through it's only me to allow myself to be the best of the best you know to be to to allow my to allow myself that I am enough to allow myself that I can be who I really am that I can work uh, with people who I believe in and this is you know this changed really my whole environment and I'm so happy because as you uh, said Working in agency is nothing for me. Working with people, you know, I have uh, uh, these issues 
some days ago, you know, this stress, you need to do it now, right away. This is not for me because I need time mm -hmm. because I'm doing it with, with my energy, with my heart. And I need this time. And I really want to work not just all the time, but really uh, efficiently and with whole heart because I'm putting in every design or illustration me inside and you know like a part of me small small part of me uh, to give to to give this you know to to this i don't know logo or illustration or i don't know some design uh, like your cards and something it's th it, this is also me you know and i need this i need this time i don't i don't want to have pressure i don't want to have this you know you need to do it now and it's for me, this is so important. And when I start to believe in myself more, uh, then things happen around me also. Only nice people, you know? When I was angry, also I have such clients, angry clients, you know, really. And I just, you know, I, I live here now for, uh, here in this apartment, in this uh, house for, I don't know, four years. And my neighbors were angry too. <laughs> and really and a few months ago i was shocked because this is a true story because one of my neighbor who was really angry they uh, he tried to talk with me really nicely and i was like he's talking to me and we are really buddies <laughs> now really he explained me everything he he tells me everything i tell also my story i share also my story with him and he's really he's care he's taking care of me you know when he uh, sees me and the other day because i didn't have a car here uh, my car was in the garage from my darling and i need to go to post office and he said he saw me and he said to me you want that i drive you there and i was like what <laughs> what <laughs> you you know who are, who are really angry before and who, who will never talk to me and this is I'm, I'm really wow what's happening you know and this is this energy what you're also talking about when you change your you know your who you are um and uh, because you know that you are really you who you are and taking care of yourself as i'm starting to do it really of course i'm not there but uh I'm really starting to do this also gratitude book and to eat healthy because I, I noticed that when I eat healthy, um, I am feeling better. And this is amazing, you know, how your body, because we have so much really, you know, sugar and everything what's in these products, what you're saying, <laughs> this is really, really bad. And um, you're right. So I want to ask you also about uh, your favorite books. You know, uh, the books who, ch uh, who perhaps changed your life. Is there any books? Uh, yes, and I'm so happy to tell you about them. And I'm so happy our Lea Margolet is, is just, uh, uh, has just joined us because I so, Hi, want to, <laughs> I so want to mention her book as well. Uh, so Lea, stay tuned. Um, uh, the first book that I want to mention is uh, You Can Heal Your Body by Louise Hay, uh, which is actually just um, a chapter of her big bestseller, You Can Heal Your Life. Uh, this was the book from which I learned crucial, crucial things. And this book represented a sort of a turning point in my own healing journey. Um, because from it, from Louise, I learned that whatever ha is happening in my physical body is just a manifestation of what I am doing in, on the level of my thoughts and my feelings, mm -hmm. that each cell of my body hears and reacts to the frequency of my predominant thoughts and feelings. So I was like, you must be kidding because that means that if I change my relationship towards myself and if I start loving myself, my body, my cells will start feeling better and will be healthier 
you absolutely must be kidding. But guess what? I was in such a bad state, in such a bad shape that I had nothing to lose. The idea yeah. was as ridiculous to me as they get, but I decided, I decided to try it out. Yeah. And that was a huge, huge, yeah. huge turning point, as I said. Um, after, after that, um, well, let's, let's just stick to that book when it comes okay. to, you know, okay. getting, yes. uh, you know, just getting this basic, basic idea that has to do with your physical body, uh, along with your, you know, food being your main medicine, I would say that this this yeah. some, somehow goes very well along. Um, I would like to mention the books uh, you you um, asked me in your questions that you sent to me. You asked me about the books that I'm reading now in this moment. Yes, and I want to show the most amazing book, which is a parenting best. Super cool. <laughs> And it yeah. was written by our sister, Lea Margolai, and her wonderful husband, Albert. It is already a um, parenting okay. bestseller on, on Amazon, and you can find it there under the title, Lea, what was the title? Connect with your teenager, right? The yeah. original in Slovenian is Ištekani uh, najsniki in staršik ištekajo. Uh, my daughter is nine years old, but this book the other day literally saved my life and saved my sanity. So it's okay. never, never too, too early to start with it. And our sister Azra Bekic surprised me with a book the other day, which I'm going to take to my summer holidays. This is it. These are apparently the stories which changed the lives okay. of millions. The book is titled, I Will Tell You a Story. Uh, I love my tribe, my people suggesting books to me. I love you know, it my too. People, my people who know where I'm coming from and who know where I'm heading and we're heading there together. In this moment, just like you, I'm also reading, of course, our Good Night Stories for Rebel yeah. Girls. It is, uh, for everybody who didn't hear about this book, this is a collection of 100 stories about 100 extraordinary women. Uh, I don't really know what Hillary Clinton is doing in that book. Yeah, but I was also her, shocked. <laughs> but okay, you know, okay. But, uh, you know, th the other 99 stories are so... <laughs> So, um, so beautiful and, yeah. and uh, uh, you can tell more about, you know, the, the illustrations yeah, from the book it's really cool. you, know, you are in love with. Yeah, I'm, I think it's uh, everything together make this book something special and uh, they also uh, collected money, you know, they were also like, uh, they didn't have money and they collected money for this book and I think it's amazing. <laughs> because it's uh, written so easily and so well. And also for teenage girls, I think it's amazing. And I saw uh, uh, Larissa's photo yesterday. She posted, you know, Larissa, are you there Larissa? With her daughter. And I think it's really, really, it's important uh, to have this, you know, not just knowledge from history about, uh, uh, what happened to them but it gives you power you know if they can do it you can do it also i think this is very important message uh out of this book and of course illustrations uh, what i'm interesting are really amazing and from different kind of artists and it's uh, i think we should make in our tribe uh, a book like that you know in this kind of way because uh, there are stories perhaps a little bit different not uh, about the woman what they achieved, but perhaps something else, interesting facts about us. So <laughs> this is the next question, <laughs> because you said it oh. to me, I ask you that, you know, interesting facts uh, about us. 
Yeah, it's, and it's good that you send people questions uh, in advance because one really has to think about it. Yeah. Um, on the note, uh, so I, I, I have quite a few, but I picked up two to share with you. On the note of um, Eva studying, um, uh, doing her, her um, diploma work on uh, the subject of Sicilian Mafia, which made me just laugh my <laughs> my heart out it would you know it's just something you would never think of um i was probably you would never imagine but i was a rage against the machine girl in yeah. in high school <laughs> i love them and nowadays i don't i i have instead of rage against the machine i have my my dear wonderful friends uh, dubiosa collective from sarevo and, you know what uh, I need to I need to break you now. You know that I've designed uh, some illustration for one guy who is doing with marijuana and he's trying to save uh, the world and everything. And the Bioza Collective made a video and the T-shirt is in it. This is wow. interesting fact. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. I have. There was this. Uh, there was this. Um, uh, epic moment that I will f remember forever when I came back uh, from from uh, Ljubljana when I returned to Sarajevo uh, as soon as the war was was over and this you know rage against the machine and Metallica girl I come I come back to my to my childhood room and there's my piano and above the piano there are new kids on the block posters <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> that and cool. um, the second the second thing um, I, I mentioned skiing I did mention skiing yes yeah, that was that was, uh, the love of my life the first love of my life and I I was also a member of um, Yugoslav national skiing team Wow and then at the university um, one of my one of my high school classmates he was the first snowboarder in Sarajevo. Wow. And he taught me how to snowboard. And then we, we have, uh, with another classmate, three of us, we established the first snowboarding club in Bosnia. <laughs> and that's where a period of, I don't know, two or three amazing years whilst we studied at the university yeah. started. We got um, helped by our parents. We collected... Um, a lot of money and sponsors and then we just bought tons of equipment we paid for some people to go and uh, become mm -hmm. instructors snowboarding instructors and we just loved 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 sharing this passion with others there was a long period in which I would actually stuff both my skiing and snowboarding equipment in the car and then realized that I'm just going to figure out what I'd like to do that day when I'm on the slopes. I just loved, I mean, living in, in Sarajevo with this extraordinary, such an yeah. extraordinary place yeah. on so many levels. We had two Olympic mountains on two sides of the city. So it was practically 20 minutes uh, drive from my home. And it was the best ever childhood, really, with, with oh, skiing. So nice. and, uh, you know that I also mentioned in my manifesto on my on my on my blog that the top 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 moment for me is that one when you are with your board in fresh powder snow. I don't know if you ski or if you snowboard, yes. but that that tops I... literally tops everything. <laughs> cool. This is really interesting fact about you, <laughs> darling. We I never know. spoke about this. I no, no, and I was really, like when this. you were starting uh, today, when you're starting, like, what, Asia, really? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cool, it's so cool. And thank you that you mentioned this question, because I will, uh, it's now inside of my, you know, program. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Like but that. I'm changing, you know, I, I need to change a little bit some questions because, you know, I cannot ask you about your creative day because you know what I mean, creative like that. Um, 
And I'm sure that we are all creative in some way. This is my belief, but, uh, you know, I need to, I need to uh, change some questions. What about, um, what about traveling? Do you have some special, special places you want to go or are you are, I know that where you were living, but perhaps you can explain a little bit about traveling and your special places. I would love um, to travel a lot in my life. I really mm -hmm. love traveling. And yeah. yes, as you mentioned, I lived sort of all over the place and I loved, loved Asia. But I want to, um, yeah, in interestingly, my, my dream, <laughs> one of my dreams, what I'd really like uh, and what I really love is to live somewhere in my flip-flops, literally in my yeah. flip-flops. And if possible, even without flip-flops, because when you are on some tropical island, uh, sandy tropical island, you don't even need them. I mean, they are like... They, they are absolutely unnecessary. Um, but even even though even though I I like very much just being in my flip flops, I would love and I still haven't visited uh, Ireland and Iceland mm -hmm. uh, and Scandinavia. I've already been to Denmark yeah. and Sweden, and I go to to Sweden again in two weeks. But there is something there is something about scandinavia there is something about this north that is really really pulling me and has always been uh, been pulling me i have some wonderful wonderful friends from that part of the world and i feel that you know my northern star is definitely somewhere there in that north this so is cool. yeah uh south america would be cool as well um but also canada i know the the you know yeah. the cool cold the other night i i dreamt that i'm in a in a forest in canada and it was a forest like i've never seen before i yeah. would really really appreciate a lot all this green you know and the forest and the fresh air and the, this these are the things that i really appreciate about, about switzerland where I live now, just this fresh air, this all this greenery, all the cleanliness. Yeah, yeah. this is really. This is something really, special. Yeah, really. So I be thankful I saw, because here in Germany feel, it's also like that. Um, a lot of green. And yesterday when we were driving uh, from the airport uh, home, we t didn't took the autobahn. How do you say it? Autobahn in, uh, you know. Highway, highway, highway. Highway, yeah. Uh, we took the uh, the small roads, and this this it was raining, but it was so beautiful. And uh, we we I I just I was just thankful for yesterday. I said to my head, I'm thankful that I can see this beautiful green everywhere everywhere because I can breathe this in, and it's really something something amazing. How about uh, movies, Asia? <laughs> I need to oh. ask you, do you have some um, some special movies? I saw, I think I saw it. You have so much in this room, you know, when, uh, in this room where, where you do your therapy, there were some movies, I think, right? Yeah, there's a, well, it's, you know, my movies combined with Tara's movies, yeah, combined with Adrian's movies, there's a lot of movies. But myself, I'm pretty simple when it comes to movies. Yeah. I want a movie to be a feel-good one, a feel-good story, romantic if possible, a lot of laughter and a happy end. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Um, I love, I love, uh, so no drama, no, you know, no blood, no disturbing sounds. I mean, I'm just simply being very mindful about what I done. Mm -hmm. um, so they have to be feel good or some educational documentaries mm -hmm. uh, or spiritual movies so when it comes to feel good I'd say that my favorite is, uh, is probably uh, Love Actually um, oh yes yay. this is a movie you need to watch every year every I do every year for Christmas <laughs> 
Yeah, great. I love you. Um, yeah. And uh, there is a there is an extraordinary uh, spiritual movie called No Solar, uh, Our see. City in translation, and it is um, a story about life on the other side told mm -hmm. through a medium. So I will I will um, I will write yeah. afterwards. I will write the full yeah. name and. I don't think I never found it on on internet. So whoever wants to have it has to has to tell me, and I send it to them. It's a really really yes, interesting yes. story about what goes on on the other side. I love things <laughs> like that. But if they are true, you know, it's a true story. So I really mm -hmm. enjoy uh, either just with a movie has to make me feel good mm -hmm. or teach me something. This is yeah. this is what I like about movies. Yeah. Cool, nice, nice set, nice set. Um, but it's also cool. It's ashes and snow. It's really amazing movie. I need to, I need to post the link because it's something. The story and the the images are amazing. Um, made by a famous photographer. I, I will post the ashes and snow. I will post the link uh, under also. This is my recommendation. Right. This will. This movie uh, is something you would love, I think. And um, I, I think we are and almost, recommended almost at the end, but not not yet there because mm -hmm. I didn't ask you what your favorite rituals are in the morning or rituals, you know, what you have. Your favorite rituals in the morning, what you do, what you like to do in the morning, you know, like meditate or yes. I don't know. Uh, so I, I love to be free in the mornings. I really, um, have this thing about taking it easy in the morning. And, uh, another thing which I learned for, from the art of extreme self-care by Sherry Richardson is not to answer to the needs of others by the time I have fulfilled my basic needs. And this is very important for me at the start of the day. Um, yeah. after, after Tara is ready to school and we walk to school when I'm back, um, on my way back, I have a nice walk. Um, then ideally I would have an hour and a half at least to do yoga. And this is why I love the freedom of not, uh, not stuffing my morning already with different meetings, with sessions with my clients i i schedule everything after 11 o'clock so if possible yes. right so I'm not, it's not always yes. possible but if possible yes. then i would um yes this is what i would be doing and after that uh nowadays i would write in my gratitude book i uh, have some tea and then eventually have uh, have breakfast and that's how my day starts and about the rituals um, in general, what I really love uh, within this time which I spend with myself is making some kind of uh, home spa uh, treatments yes. such as um, body scrub, you know, with some uh, uh, coconut, coconut oil and um, uh, what's the name of this, um, raw cane sugar. So yeah. like a teaspoon of raw cane sugar and a tablespoon of coconut oil and then you just rub your whole body with it. And I love, love, love foot soaks. I love foot okay. soaks. I learned how to, how to make a foot soak. Um, it contains um, so hot water, of course, warm water, some sea salt, few drops of your favorite essential oils and some dried herbs. It mm -hmm. is pure bliss. So yeah, that's what this is love nice. to do. I like, to watch I like some feel good movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for your uh, for for this because I did uh, yesterday to my darling this food soap and uh, it's really cool. It relaxes also and um, how do you say? I don't know um, how to say it in English. I will say it now in in German and give them your body. You know. How do you say it? In I don't know in English. You know your 
that your whole body is like and gifted? I don't know what you mean. Okay. Say, say it in German. Say it in German. You don't. <laughs> and gift then. <laughs> detox, <laughs> detox. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> detox. When you do it, I, I, I feel like you know. When you... <laughs> Thank you, Amila. <laughs> Amila knows German. She's living in Germany. <laughs> detox your body with that, you know. I think it's like I feel when we when I do this, uh, I feel like my body is like detoxed, you know, after it. Absolutely, that, 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 that effect is produced by the soul. Yeah, thank you, girls. Yeah. <laughs> I only forgot to mention olive oil. I put olive oil. Yeah. So water, olive oil, salt, dried herbs, and a few drops of your favorite essential oil. But of course, it, it makes a difference. You, do you put uh, lavender, which is calming, or you put peppermint, which, is, which makes yes, you yes, 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 yes. your way. <laughs> so. Yeah, but this is, this is really cool. Yeah. Um, what do you want to share it with the world? Uh, what is your message to the world today? Uh, both of my messages I actually already shared. And that yeah. is, uh, one was that we are part of nature and we need yeah. to go back to living, um, acting, behaving accordingly. Um, second one was that we are beings of energy and what we do uh, absolutely influences uh, the, the others, the, the rest of the world. Um, there was a third one as well that I want to share. Hmm. Love. These two ones are pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Do you hear me? Uh, and uh, the last one. Yeah, I maybe maybe you're. Are you losing it. battery because I was. <laughs> no, I am. I'm. Uh, your your picture is stopped, but it's not important. I I've charged. I saw it. My battery is low. <laughs> when somebody saw now how I've charged my phone, um, we will do just quickly. I charge um, my phone as well. Why? Why do you think you are here in this planet? Why do you think what I know what your mission is because you already said it, but what do you why do you think you are here? I think I'm here. In, um, in, in, I think I'm I'm here to be a catalyst of change, to inspire others through 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 my own story to inspire others to change. I think that's yeah. it. I think my, my task is to be uh, a sort of warrior of light and really fight for the light together with you and so many other yeah. amazing people. And yeah, I think this is what we need to do because we recognize it, right? We recognize the light inside of us. And I think yeah. we need to go around and, and spread it and shower others with yeah. it. And I realize that the more you do that, the brighter your light gets. Yes, this is true. You feel, you feel uh, differently. I feel differently because um... your picture froze for me. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody who. who you froze. Your picture froze for me, but this is this is not important. I think it's important that we are here today. It's important that we share our stories. It's important uh, that we share this love. It's important that we are. Um, uh, encouraging others to take care of themselves because uh, I think this is why you are here with me now uh, because I want also to encourage not just other women but everybody who is listening and who will listening after watch the replay to take care of ourselves and to take care of our bodies and that this is really, really crucial and very, very important. And I'm so thankful that we have this interview today. It was a little bit different because I asked you about cartoons and stuff like that. But I think this is just me, you know, this is me asking you on my way. And yeah, perhaps we need to do it uh, some more detailed uh, live stream about uh, your work, because I think uh, this is just, 
now for uh, information and I will put your links also um, under this live stream because I think everybody should look your um, YouTube channel as well and uh, next time we will talk uh, a little bit more about reflexology because I'm really interesting about it and uh, for today I am really really thankful my darling that you uh, introduce yourself and uh, share important message uh, today with us is something you would like to ask me today I don't hear you Asya darling <laughs> so I think Asya is gone is are you there because it's freezing a little bit did, yes did i you am hear can me? you hear me yeah did you hear yes, me yes i did uh, hear you hi <laughs> okay <laughs> is something you would like to ask me before we say bye bye and yes i hear you <laughs> Just a second. I'm sure I will okay. try to, to, to start charging the phone. Um, yeah. <laughs> good, good idea. So this is really like... Can you a, hear me? Like uh, having a coffee with me. And um, because, of, uh, because of Facebook, I think, I don't know uh, if right. anybody is out there who knows why why Facebook don't allow sometimes that the picture is clear and why is this frozening going on? If everybody knows it, please share with us because we want to do it better each time. And uh, Asya is back. What do you want to ask me for today? Is something you would like to ask me? Uh, oh my God, I had a question in mind, which now, now I got so confused I don't remember it. Oh, <laughs> uh, why don't you, why, why don't, oh no, did you already say about your movie? You did. Uh, how about you, you share with us for today one interesting fact about you? Hmm. <laughs> one interesting fact about me. I don't know if I can share this with the world, but um, I'm very, very passionate about magic magic cards and uh about gypsy cards i'm a little bit i'm a white witch because i'm interesting about all this magical stuff rituals and stuff like that and i do have my own magic cards um gypsy cards that i've designed and asia saw it and this is interesting facts about some some people already know it, but I think that it's something I don't uh, share it because, you know, then people say, oh, she's so crazy and why she's doing that and stuff like that. But I really do uh, see things and uh, because I when I was little, I saw already pictures in my head and you know because i'm very visual i need uh, i need this also and it's something that i'm totally interesting in and uh, my darling is now watching it and he knows that and i'm crazy and i like to i like to do it not professional but i like to uh, to read cards for others so you know it because i did it for you <laughs> this is interesting facts about me <laughs> So. Bravo. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> you are yeah. as crazy as they get and I love you just the way you are. You are totally unique yeah. and just so beautiful yeah. inside and out with everything that you are. Thank you, my I darling. You so Thank much. you. Oh, I love you too because, you know, it's something... Uh, I love this connection between us because we have really, really the same ideas and values and beliefs. And this is so cool, really cool, because when I'm talking to you, I feel like, you know, like older sister who gives me some uh, advices. And the other day when I was uh, so uh, upset about this email, uh, your voice message saved my life. And thank you for that. 
You are so, so welcome. Did you I hear? Think, I think uh, the moment the moment I plugged in uh, the phone to be charged, the image cleared up. So I don't know if you okay. have some extra battery. Maybe this is the thing that the it's actually due to the phone and not to the connection or something like that. Okay. I just have a feeling. Uh, perhaps about. next time. We're learning. Yeah, perhaps. We're learning. Yeah, we're learning. Okay, perhaps next time because my battery was also low. And perhaps next time we need to have this extra battery. You have this, you know, this extra battery to fill your phone. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps we can, we can. Ma, uh, I have it and, and it's, it's here, but it's not reacting at all. The phone didn't react to it. So maybe it wasn't charged. I have okay. no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are learning, we are learning. And well, we see, I'm out. An, interesting, an yeah. interesting fact about me is that I'm, I'm, I'm close. And I'm super sensitive and we both are super sensitive, but we learned that this is not our weakness, this is our superpower. Yes, and with this, Superpower, we will. <laughs> this is true, and with this superpower, uh, we will end this live stream. I think we are not 11 11, perfect time to end, darling. Perfect time to end. And thank you all for uh, watching this with us, to be with us, and to share your comments. We will check now with Asia. We will post the links. We will post uh, the books, uh, titles. We will post the movies. Everything we will post it. And um, thank you for being there. And next time uh, in Thursday is uh, Maya Stefanitz with me and... Uh, I will make the announcement today or tomorrow and Yay. I'm really, really super happy uh, that uh, everybody is responding so well on these live streams and uh, for me, it's, uh, I'm learning uh, which if li which with each live stream, I'm learning something new about the person and not just about the person, but uh, the, this gives me something also and uh, i'm super super thankful and thank you darling that you are with me today and i feel that i have goosebumps uh, in some uh, messages you uh, said to us and uh, really oh my day is uh started really really good and i think monday is perfect uh for doing this and um see you soon i guess right do you want to say something I said, do you want to also say something or just bye-bye? You're frozen now, so I will end this uh, live stream. Take care, darlings, and see you soon. Bye-bye.